When preparing this year's conference, the BIM gathering team asked 12 construction professionals the question, what does BIM in Ireland look like right now? BIM is a, a new technology that's, I think it's, it's an accepted now, it is the way forward. There might have been a debate here in the industry for a while as to is it the way to go, but I think now it's accepted as the future. BIM is the future. Welcome to the CEDA BIM Gathering Conference, the premier building information modelling conference in Ireland. We see it as a core part of our digital asset information strategy, with BIM being the central part of the jigsaw that will involve all our other systems, including GIS, CMMS, BMS. We want to use it to make the airport run as smoothly as possible, so everyone can access the data that they need as easily and quickly as possible. Everything we will do as a design consultancy going forward uh, will be based around BIM. Um, CAD is a, an outdated technology that is reducing and reducing uh, as time goes on. Um, all our CAD technicians are transforming over to BIM. Uh, Dublin City Council are involved in Public BIM, which is a group of all public bodies, which would include TII and the OPW and GGDA and we're all at different levels and the idea is to streamline all the, um, the processes and it's to help ourselves along quickly because we're on the same BIM journey. In the NDFA we've been procuring on a BIM platform for over four years now and at this point we've over 40 BIM projects. These are the new NTMA offices in construction behind me where we're using BIM and the latest digital technologies to ensure that the completed building functions really well and operates efficiently into the future. So now the tenant can actually visualise the asset themselves. They can have uh, walkthroughs, they can have fly-throughs, uh, they can see the particular layout that's peculiar to them and they can actually begin to picture themselves in that office space. So that's a very important tool from the client's point of view in when they're ultimately trying to sell that asset to the uh, to a tenant. As well as supporting in companies, we're also supporting an awareness in market of the capability of Irish companies who can deliver construction products through BIM. Through participating in events in the UK like Digital Construction Week, we've been raising the awareness at the highest level across markets about the capability of Irish companies to deliver on the BIM agenda. The fact that uh, on an ongoing basis the architect the engineers, then the contractor, the main contractor, gradually layer on the information as it's developed and uh, that ultimately uh, when you have a fully developed BIM model is something which uh, in the case of the children's hospital that the, uh, the client there uh, will find extremely useful in terms of the future management of the facility. It's going to change the way everybody in the organisation does business it's going to change how we relate to each other and to our external consultants and to the construction industry generally. But it's, it's the only go forward position we have in terms of construction delivery. And it's, it's our main priority into the future. Depending on our scope of work, project savings generated can be equal to the cost of BIM. Therefore, for similar scopes of work on future projects, we will be in a position not to charge for BIM activity. In other words, BIM activity pays for itself. So BIM by its very nature is actually a disruptive technology. And uh, as an owner, I'm either going to BIM or be BIMed. I'd much rather do the BIM. We're now solving problems and doing things which we know are impossible and it's uh, enabling us to have a platform for creating breakthroughs. Since our inaugural conference in 2013, we have seen a significant change in how we're beginning to prepare our students for a digital future. More and more of our institutes of technology and universities are starting to now integrate BIM and other digital technology into their programs. CETA has provided the arena for stakeholders to come together and build awareness of BIM. It is the industry prime event uh, in BIM terms uh, across the country. You have that unique opportunity to listen to professionals uh, across the world. Many of the gatherings I've gone to uh, with BIM, I've come away from them with a much 
broader knowledge about them and also much more enthusiasm. Really the thought leaders uh, globally are going to be here given their views. If you want a network and you want to know what's happening, it's the place to go to. So join us in Crow Park on the 23rd and 24th of November for the Seat at BIM gathering and together we can build an industry and a network to be proud of.